good to see you today. I'm glad that you are here today so that we can make some connections. Today, we are going to be remembering our scripture from this past week. Our scripture from this past week was about talents. Now, two of the men were given money and they went to the market and they used their money and they got more money back. And one of the men hid his talents. Then he didn't get anything else. So he hid them and kept them for himself. But then the, the man said, the, the one who gave them the money said, you have to give it away. Now, this is a little different because Jesus wants us to use our God-given talents. Our talents are not really money, but God wants us to share what we have to benefit others. So if we have the ability to dance, he wants us to share that. If, he has, if we have the ability to teach others, he wants us to share that. If you're scared, you don't want to share. If you're scared, you can talk about your feelings, but there are other people whose talent it is to help others with their scared feelings. They're called therapists. They're called therapists. Lindley is being such a great helper. She's over here to the side, you can't see her. She's also doing some art, which, here she comes. Lindley loves art. That is one of her talents. Okay, so we are gonna go hang out with Mr. Bruce, and when we come back, we are gonna read a story about a roller coaster. Take it away, Mr. Bruce. Hey everyone, this week's song is soon and very soon. The words are easy, soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. And then we sing hallelujah several times at the end. You ready? We'll sing it twice through so you have it, okay? One, two, ready, and soon. that a lot. The jacket of the book has the name and it says roller coaster, but the book itself, I'm going to open it so you can see the back part. It is just the roller coaster. How cool is that? All right, so let's find out what a roller coaster has to do with our talents. All of these people are waiting in line for the roller coaster. Most of them have ridden on lots of roller coasters. Some of them have only ridden on a roller coaster once or twice. At least one of them has never ridden on a roller coaster. I've never been on a roller coaster. Ever. So I guess Lindley's in this line. <laughs> the roller coaster is very big and very noisy. That looks like the roller coaster we saw on the back of the book. You must be tall enough to ride it, but sometimes even those who are tall enough decide they don't want to. Lots of people change their minds about riding the roller coaster at the very last minute. It's true. Finally, 
finally, it is time to get into the cars. The ride operator says, load them up, two to a seat. When everyone is buckled in, the operator rings a bell and then he releases the brake. The train jerks forward on the tracks. Now it's too late for anyone to change their minds. And to change your mind here either. Slowly, the train is pulled up the hill by a chain. Clickety clackety, clickety clackety. Most people scream, some people can't stand to make a sound, and then one person can't even open her eyes. The train zips. It zooms. It dips and dives. goes all the way around. Whee! Who said that? Now the ride is over. <laughs> Most of the people are dizzy. Some of the people have wobbly knees. At least one of them is planning to ride the roller coaster again. I know who that is. The girl that's so loud. <laughs> right now. The roller coaster helps us remember that we have the choice. It, every day we have the choice to either take our talents and share them or not use them at all. So the people who are taking their talents to share them are the ones that are in line, they're gonna get there, they're gonna do it. Sometimes we get in line and we get nervous and we back away. And that's like not you? using our talents. And sometimes we're like, not doing it. Not even gonna get in the line. And that's like the, the one man who buried his talents. He didn't show his talents or his money to anyone. Now the people over here who said, I'm, I'm getting on that train, I'm getting on the roller coaster, I'm gonna ride it, I'm gonna have so much fun, and I'm gonna do it more than once. They are showing their talents. That girl that, um, she um, wanted to do it again, she really She is showing her talents. It's a little different. I know you have to stretch your imagination with these books sometimes, but think about it. If you are willing to try things or to show things or to do things, that is sharing your talents don't from God. Hold on. What? Don't brag about your talents. You shouldn't brag about your talents, but giving of your talents is not bragging, right? We talked about humility a few weeks ago, and humility is just, you know, like knowing inside your heart that you love God and that, you know, you. God doesn't want you to be boastful. He doesn't want you to stand in the middle of the room and yell all about how good you are. But he also wants you to share what you have. Like you're being humble. Humble is not shouting what you have, but sharing your talents is still what God wants us to do. It's a little confusing to think about, well, how do you share your talents without being boastful? Like, hey, look what I can do. We can do it easily. We can share our talents. Teach them. Yeah. We can share our talents by helping others learn and see and do, but we don't have to be boastful and say, I'm the best at it. I hope you guys have a great week. I'm glad I had a little bit of a helper this week, so maybe you learned a little bit more, and I will see you soon. Bye, friends.